Hello and welcome to the Home Improvements Channel UK where today's episode will be showing you how to professionally make your own wibbly wobbly skirtings. So as you would have seen by the title and the little stupid picture what we're aiming to show you today is how you can That's it Phil Bend it That's it Go on Nah No no luck. Use another method. <laughs> Just remember guys, if you like the videos, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, chuck a comment, I thank you very much. We've been into the wilderness and caught ourselves some medium density fiberboard, also known as MDF. There's a few ways to bend your skirting. This method requires a little bit of filling at the end, a little bit of decorating, but it can all be done in one day. You ain't got to wait for steaming, you ain't got to bend it with weights and things like that. So, first step of this process is setting your saw to cut through your material and leave maybe a two mil face. So on the face side, you're gonna leave maybe two mil on the face of it, and you're gonna make multiple cuts five mil distance between them, tighter if you need it, depending on the curve of, that you're trying to get round. So let's do that now. As you can see, put a little bit of timber across the back. The reason for that is we want full depth all the way through this and saw blades are rounded. So as you come near the fence, if I didn't have this wood here, it wouldn't actually cut full depth on the face there. It would only go up. So we do this so we can get full depth all the way through. Little tip for you. Yeah. Quick little side note. As you can see, I'm just pushing it and cutting, 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 cutting. If you're not comfortable on a saw, make your cut, put the saw back so the guard comes down, move your piece, make your cut, let the saw go back up. I'm fairly comfortable on a saw, so I can just roll it through and feed it through, but just be safe with these, they will take digits very quickly. All of your cuts, this Bang. is what you should end up with. Something that looks a little bit like this. It's a little bit delicate, so be careful with it. Now, how far do you need to cut along? That is all dependent on the curve. If it's a long sweeping curve, you're going to want to extend it through. If it's a really tight turn, then you want to going to keep these super close. These cuts need to be super close to allow it to bend tight. But, as you can see, because of the design of it, you can't get away from the fact you're going to cut through it. So as you can see, we've got loads of cuts on the face. That's what you need to feel when you go around your curve. There's no other way around that, to be honest, because you need to cut the depth. If you've got a square, square skirting, which is quite popular at the minute, you won't really have this problem on the face. You'll only have it on the top. But if we come to said curve here, well, and that's what we wanted to get. One right. sweeping bend. As you can see, that's smooth though. and oh it does internal as well some people cut the face to get this but with mdf you can sort of get away with both ways and has got skills so if we say that was your curve on your wall like that yeah as you can see it's a nice sweeping then phil it's delicious and that is another quick video from the home improvements channel uk if you're liking our videos please subscribe it helps us get more content out there. Chuck a comment if you want us to do another video. Hit the bell and hit that like button. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> You've created yourself a piano. Depending on what skirting you got.